hurricane maps are confusing. This is a map forecasting the path of a hurricane. And this is what's called the cone of uncertainty. It's the thing that many people misunderstand. The cone does not show which places will and won't be affected by the storm. And it says nothing about the size of the storm. It's just a prediction of where the center of the hurricane might be. And if people don't understand that, it can lead to over-preparing, or more importantly, not preparing enough for a storm. They really are in danger of misinterpreting storm surge, winds, and also rain, because they think that the eye of the storm isn't going over them. Just because the center goes to the south of you doesn't mean that you're out of the main winds of the hurricane. There's also only about a 67% chance the center of the hurricane will be in the cone at all. This is based on satellite imagery, historical data, data from nearby ships and buoys, and lots of complicated math. But just because the center of this hurricane could be anywhere in this cone, it doesn't mean everyone in the cone will be affected. Again, the size of this cone does not tell you the size or strength of the hurricane. And people living outside the cone could also be affected. Because some storms end up being so big they extend beyond the cone. And the center of the storm could end up on the edge or even outside the lines. That's why hurricane centers will extend warnings to people living outside the cone. Despite the confusion, Waisaki says this is for now the simplest and most effective way to illustrate a hurricane's path. They don't want their audience to be confused. So what we're trying to do is have everybody focus on where the highest probabilities in which they will be affected by this storm and not worry about the peripheral areas that have a very low probability. But he does think it needs to be explained better. <laughs>